Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician, and this time I am reacting to Freddy Krueger's Dreamer's Paradise, which is a Gangsta's Paradise parody that came out back in April, but time is meaningless in a quarantine, so whatever. Time is also kind of meaningless on the internet. Honestly, if, if, if we're going to be honest about it, things sit on there forever and people discover them years later. Uh, this is actually by a band called The Merkins. They do uh, parodies based on horror movies. They did a Backstreet Boys parody, I think, last Halloween. Uh, I, I, I like I Want to Kill You That Way or something like that. But it was Freddy Krueger... Jason Voorhees, Mike Myers, Michael Myers, not Mike Myers. It's a thing they had a problem with in uh, Baby Driver, too. Uh, and a bunch of other horror movie icons as a boy band. Uh, which is really funny. But this one, this one's just Freddy doing a parody of the Coolio hit. Um, I have not seen this yet, obviously. That's why I'm reacting to it here. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to try this. Uh, this is different than the video I was planning on posting this week, but I had this in the back burner. The video I recorded, uh, didn't, didn't come through. So, we're doing this instead. Anyway, trying out the new camera and figuring new things out. Yay! Also, large quarantine hair. Sorry. Meh. Here we go. I like how it's shot in the aspect ratio of the original. As she walks through the alley, she's a shadow of death. I see the fear in her eyes. She realizes my arms are stretched. I've been laughing and slashing so long that I am a maniac and get my mom to nod. All right, I gotta give these guys props right from jump that they always seem to do this in character. Actually, now that I think about it. I don't know if the, the boy band one was 100% in character. They weren't singing in the voices of the characters. They were trying to sing it like singers. Uh, so a couple of them didn't sound like they would. They sounded like actually decent voices. But this is going the full Freddy Krueger voice, using clips from the movies and Freddy himself, uh, an, an actor in the, the Freddy getup. Uh, this is already great. There's gonna be a lot of references to the movies. I haven't seen all of the movies, I have to be to be honest, but I can already tell this is going to be reference heavy. So anyway, here we go. I never killed a kid that didn't deserve it. They got my phone by the trunk, so you know that I heard them. <laughs> They're gonna watch how you fall in the sleep walking. I knew that the kitty's gonna cry when he drops. I really love the children, but they gotta go. He really loves the kitties. Isn't... Isn't Freddy a... Isn't Freddy a, a, a... Child molester? Isn't that what the... Thing is with Freddy? Ew. Um... This flow's decent. Give him that. Johnny Depp in his first film appearance. I'll give him props that the makeup looks good, but the makeup looks 100% like a mask. And I don't know if it's store-bought or it's something they did, but... I watched Face Off a lot on uh, Sci-Fi, and also the movie Face Off, but that has nothing to do with it. Uh, I watched the, the, the reality show competition Face Off, where makeup artists compete. Uh, and it's a really cool show. I loved that show. and uh, But, like, they always show the difference between doing applications and making a full head mask, and the full head mask just becomes more difficult to emote in, 
or to even move your mouth in, and that seems like the issue that he's having here in these close-up shots trying to do the LV part from the Coolio song on the hook. Um, but I like how it, it's it's clearly Freddy singing, but it's not clearly Freddy's voice. Uh, it's something they did, I think, with the, with the Backstreet Boys parody, like I mentioned before. But uh, digging it. Digging it a lot. They got sick deprivation because I'm chasing. They can't live a normal life. Raise my glove and I swipe. So they gotta go down here. I'm all free. <laughs> Too much television watching children in a dream. I'm an aggravated fool with killing on my mind. Got my glove on my hand. When they bring it, they die. I'm a burnt up angry kid killing stranger. And you moved on my town. So now your life's in danger. Fool, death ain't nothing. Gotta have a heart. Be away. I'll take your life. You gon' die. A bitch, you ain't safe. Kill plenty teens now and best believe I'll kill plenty more the way things are going as a show. I gotta I gotta give them props. They're they're kinda keeping to the same meter and scansion of the original. Uh almost a little bit more like rephrasing what the Coolio song was. I mean, we all know how Weird Al parodies a song and how sometimes he'll he'll take certain phrases and and follow that rhyme scheme almost exactly and this one is doing it almost closer to a point um i i, I don't know if i'm expressing that properly but uh let, let's just say that it seems to be following the flow of the original lot while still making it uniquely its own i guess that's what i'm trying to say yeah sure that sounds good it's been a while since i've done one of these so my analysis may be a little off at the moment but uh you get what I'm saying, right? If you don't get what I'm saying, maybe I'll explain it in the comments and you, when you say something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. It's a fun party. Tell me why did we move to Because <laughs> the ones he hurts are you and me. I've been staying up all night in the field of I will say, on the hook, this is kind of a big thing that I, I talk about when writing parody myself. Uh, it's not a bad thing what they're doing with keeping the same chorus as the chorus they had the first time. But I think the chorus in a parody song is another chance for more jokes. You, uh, They had it in the, the pre-chorus bridge just before it, where in the Weird Al version he sings the lyrics to Gilligan's Island. Uh, but uh, but in this, they uh, no phone, no lights, no Marta car, not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's as primitive as can be. That's the one from the Al uh, Amish Paradise version. And not to keep comparing this to Al's version, but with any parody, you're always going to compare to Weird Al because he set the gold bar standard for parodies forever at this point. You know, he's been so consistently popular and and successful for over 40 years, it's kind of hard not to make that distinction when listening to other parody. Even as a parody artist myself, I hear it all the time. But with this one, again, uh, as I was trying to say, having the chorus change with each example of the chorus is a good place to fit in more jokes. Not everybody does that when they do a parody, and for me, I always feel that's a missed opportunity. Um... One example of Weird Al not changing the chorus and it working is uh, The Saga Begins, his American Pie parody, because the song is so frickin' long anyway, you don't need to fit any more in in the choruses to let the choruses be the same. In a song that's a normal song length, changing it up a little bit keeps people on their feet, especially in a song that maybe has a repetition of a chorus a bunch of times in a row. Change it up, keep it fresh. Just a personal preference, but... They're not doing anything wrong by not doing that. It's just a, a note that I usually say when writing parody or giving advice on how to write parody. Try to run from me, chase you for an hour. Get them, yeah, get them, screaming, yeah, they cower. Everybody's running, and half of them are shooken, cause a lot of kids are missing, but they don't know what took them. They say I gotta burn, so the parents trapped and kill me. 
if they don't say my name, bitch, how can they fear me? Maybe the white titles, maybe the white lyrics weren't great on the flame part there. Maybe change that up a little bit. But beyond that, still we're hearing the song. I appreciate the lyrics on the screen. Helps me understand a little better, especially when you're singing in a character voice. Um, honestly, not as many instances of the word bitch as that I was expecting. It is Freddy, and then of course the, uh, the Rick and Morty parody of it says bitch every other word. It's kind of the point of the parody. Ever since, like, the... Th I think the third movie, it became kind of self-parody in how many times Freddy Krueger said the word bitch. Uh, and and they're, they're inserting it just enough into this, I think, that it works. And, of course, you had to have the Coolio fool in it before that, of course, Al did, too. So, again, not trying to purposely make that comparison, but it's going to happen. I guess they can. I guess they won't. I guess I'll hunt. That's why I know your life is out of luck, fool. I've been staying up all night in the fear of being terrorized. I've been spending most of my life living in a dreamer's paradise. I like the rhyme of terrorized and paradise. It's a good rhyme. I mean, it's a slam rhyme, but it's still good. I enjoy it. I keep spending most of my life living in a dreamer's paradise. Bye, Johnny. And here, because it's a repeating, I want to change these lyrics, but just to keep things flow or, or get up more jokes in, but still, still solid. Created by the Merkins, starring at Freddy Krueger Files, folk vocals by Mike Harvey, some production by Nate Vile. again, the number one dream killer, don't sleep on me. Freddy Dreamer's Paradise. That's a great cover. I I like the single image for the song. Um, clearly, that is the Coolio uh, image, just with Freddy Krueger's head photoshopped onto it. But still, the text being the same uh, <laughs> label maker text. I say this, like this is the international symbol for label maker. You know what I mean? The little the little dial on the label maker and you punched it when you got to the letter that you want and it printed out one of those little labels and that's the that's the font. It's the label maker font. And that's what the font is on the Coolio single. Uh, but they, you know, made it Freddy into the Coolio. Anyway, I appreciate album art parodies almost as much as song parodies. I do that a lot of that myself. And it's something, it's always that extra touch that I really enjoy. So I really enjoyed this. I dig, dig the song. Uh, lots of references to the Freddy movies and lots of clips of them. Really the only original stuff that they shot is Freddy himself in a room rapping parts of the song and then they cut away to clips from the movie. Short, simple, to the point. Really dig it. It works for what it is. I like it a lot. Uh, check out the other stuff by the Merkins, and if you want to check out the original song and video, link will be in the description. Go give those guys some love. Anyway, if you like what I do, maybe give me a like, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment for a comedy song that you think that I haven't seen. I've seen a lot. I tend to watch a lot of comedy music and listen to a lot of comedy music. In fact, I'm the chairman of the Comedy Music Awards, the Logan Awards, named for Logan Whitehurst. The full name is the Logan Whitehurst Memorial Awards for Excellence in Comedy Music. It's a long name. We just call it the Logan Awards. Go to loganawards.com and you can nominate your favorite comedy songs from 2019 for this year's awards. Uh, go ahead and go do that at loganawards.com. Nomin open nominations are open until June 26th, so you can go nominate your favorite songs. Maybe something I've reviewed on here or reacted to, I guess you could say. Uh, since that's what the name of the show is. Anyway, uh, I've rambled on long enough. I hope you enjoy this. We'll see you all next time. Keep enjoying comedy music, and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Oh, man. Not again. Holy crap, you guys. Are you all okay? Who the fuck this field trip would turn out this way? When we left today for this factory, never thought this would be our final resting place. You know, we were so surprised when we found this place was built on ancient burial ground. But the teacher didn't really seem to fear when couples from our group began to disappear.